What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm extremely excited because we're gonna be talking about my predictions for the WWE Hall of Fame for 2024. Let's get right into this. So I make these videos every year on who I predict is going to be inducted into the Hall of Fame each year. Last year, the only one that I got right was Rey Mysterio, which I was extremely happy that I finally got somebody right and got one of my predictions right. Up first, we have a big name, and that is John Cena. John Cena made his debut in 2002. For years, he was the face of WWE. He has the most world championship reigns tied with Ric Flair, which is just an awesome record on its own. He is a five-time United States champion, a two-time WWE tag team champion, a two-time world tag team champion, a two-time Royal Rumble winner, a one-time Money in the Bank winner, and a 16-time world champion. 13 of those times was for the WWE Championship, and he is a three-time world heavyweight champion as well. He's been in a lot of rivalries over the years, including Brock Lesnar, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Batista, and even The Rock. Given that the leader of the C-Nation has been a huge part of the WWE for years and years, there's no question that he's definitely going to be going into the Hall of Fame some year, and hopefully he will be going in in 2024, because over the past couple years, he's been making a lot of less and less appearances in the WWE. Do I think he's going to be hanging up the boots? Absolutely not, but I think it's time that he goes in the Hall of Fame because he definitely deserves it, but I think he's going to be going in the Hall of Fame on his own terms, much like The Rock and Batista who have been given access to go in whenever they want because they're so busy with movie roles that hopefully Cena will get the same thing, which is whenever he's ready to hang up the boots and whenever he is ready to go in the Hall of Fame, all he has to do is ask and he will go in and he definitely deserves to do so. Next on my list is Umaga. His first stint with WWE was in 2002, teaming with his cousin Rosie as part of Three Minute Warning. He was released in 2003, but returned in April 2006 as Umaga and went undefeated until January 2007. The following month, he won the Intercontinental Championship for the first time and won it for the second time in July of 2007. He also appeared in the Battle of the Billionaires at WrestleMania 23, representing Mr. McMahon. Unfortunately, he was released from the WWE in 2009 and passed away shortly after that. Next up, we have Michelle McCool. She joined WWE in 2004, and at the Great American Bash in 2008, she became the first WWE Divas Champion. At the Bash in 2009, she won the WWE Women's Championship, being the first to have hold both titles. In 2010, she unified both titles, becoming the first and only WWE Unified Divas Champion. Overall, she was a four-time champion. She retired in 2011, but also appeared... She retired in 2011, but has appeared in a match at WWE Evolution at the 2018, 2022, and 2023 Royal Rumbles as well. Next up, we have one of my favorites, Finley. Finley competed in WCW from 1996 to 2000, then in WWE from 2005 to 2010. In 1998, Finley beat Booker T for the WCW Television Championship. After joining WWE, he cost Bobby Lashley his unbeaten streak by interfering with Lashley's match against JBL. Later, he joined William Regal as members of King Booker and his court. Finley beat the court's biggest rival, Bobby Lashley, for Lashley's United States Championship. Next up, we have Dean Malenko. He is known for his work in WCW, ECW, and WWE. Although he never won a world championship, he has won 11 titles across all three brands. He was a two-time ECW television champion, a one-time ECW tag team champion with Chris Benoit, a four-time He was a two-time ECW television champion, a one-time ECW tag team champion with Chris Benoit, a four-time WCW cruiserweight champion, a one-time WCW United States champion, a one-time WCW tag team champion with Chris Benoit 
and a two-time WWE lightweight champion. He worked for WWE backstage for years and is currently an executive producer for AEW. Next up, we have Sabu. Sabu is one of my favorite ECW originals. He was so extreme and that's what made me love him so much. He was known for his hardcore style wrestling, which he thrived for in ECW. During his time in ECW, he became a two-time ECW World Heavyweight Champion, a one-time ECW Television Champion, WCW FTW Champion, and a three-time ECW Tag Team Champion as well. Once with Taz and two times with RVD. He became a fixture in ECW and had some of the best hardcore matches ever for ECW and all of wrestling. He is definitely one of my favorites and I'm really excited and hopefully one day he will definitely be in the WWE Hall of Fame. And finally on my list, we have Goldust. He has had multiple tenures with WWE from 1995 to 2018. Between WWE and WCW, he has won 23 championships in total. He is a two-time WCW United States Champion, a one-time WCW Six-Man Tag Team Champion, and a two-time WCW Tag Team Champion. He is a three-time WWE Intercon... He is a three-time WWE Intercontinental Champion, a nine-time WWE Hardcore Champion, a one-time WWE World Tag Team Champion, and a two-time WWE Tag Team Champion. Throughout the years, he has evolved his character and his face paints, and he definitely became a really odd character in the WWE. While wrestling in AEW as Dustin Rhodes, he did announce that by 2024, he was going to be hanging up the boots and retiring, so hopefully he will be going in the WWE Hall of Fame next year because he definitely deserves it with how long he was part of WWE, but everything that he also did behind the scenes with the WWE and in wrestling in general and definitely is a huge part of the Rhodes family. Comment down below who you believe is going to be going in the WWE Hall of Fame this year. Do you think any of my predictions are going to come true? I definitely hope that WWE is going to be inducting some of these, but who knows with WWE and I don't know who else they might pick, but I'm definitely excited for this year's Hall of Fame. Comment down below if you agree with any of these or who you think is going to be inducted this year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.